Good luck. We're Becca and Zach, a couple who recently, after years of dreaming, bought ourselves a beautiful 40 foot Colvick Victor sailboat. Life is short and the world is wide and there are so many lessons to be learned. Laughs shared, people met, adventures had, and nautical miles to be sailed. And this is our way of sharing it all with you. Welcome to the Tailey. Bloody doing it. We aren't quite sure how, but it seems Tailey knows exactly when we are busiest to spring a new issue upon us. It's a few days before we are heading on a long hike and a wild camping trip with friends. When we heard one drip, then two, and just like that, we had ourselves our first leak. So I think it's really easy to forget that whilst we're working down our own list, obviously boats have a ton of maintenance anyway, and things break all the time. <laughs> so putting our whole list aside, We've got the ongoing maintenance and fixing of things that go wrong on boats. Um, so sometimes that can be a little overwhelming, but um, yes, it's raining and we have ourselves our first leak. Hallelujah. Luckily, we've kind of narrowed it down and realised it's not from the teak deck, which is a massive blessing, um, but it is from the hatch. Zach, we'll yeah. put a bag over here. Get the Sainsbury's bag and we'll put it over here for now. That'll do for now. Um, which isn't surprising, we think it's an original hatch um, and it probably just needs to be resealed, but yeah, just a little bit frustrating. Having water come out your ceiling, it's just not really what you want, <laughs> especially before going on a trip. But that's okay, what's another boat job? One more to the list. What difference does it make? So look, they've done it there. <laughs> so they had the issue there. They've fiberglassed over the wood there. But we need to address the root cause, not just stop it from this side, because then it will just travel through here, which looks like it's what it's done. I think it's where the porthole is sitting on the deck. Mm -hmm. And I think where it's been sealed to the deck, I think there's a, I don't know, either it's worn or... It's just slowly failed over time because it's, it's coming through that crack. We have to wait until it stops raining anyway, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we didn't actually buy it in Swansea, but yeah, I, ma I yeah. imagine we are, yeah. Yeah, oh, fantastic. How are you doing? What a glorious boat. Yeah, it's not, I'm well, thanks. Yeah, yeah. It's not too bad, is it? So, what's your name? Bernie. Bernie, love to meet you, Bernie. Yeah. Do you own a boat around here or? Yeah, I've, I mean, I've just come. Down here, I've got the yellow one just over there. I'm just in front of that. Oh, oh lovely. Are you going further than here or? Yeah, we're doing a uh, challenge over to the States. Oh, nice. So, um, wow. Newport, Rhode Island. Yeah. In little boats. Yeah. I think called the Jester Challenge. Oh, wow. That'd That's be not crazy. Why I came over here. I came over to, to <laughs> see a fabulous looking boat. I hadn't appreciated <laughs> what this boat was like until seeing it up. Yeah, she's Close. she's very uh, seaworthy, and yeah, we yeah. spent a spent a long time looking for the right one, what we wanted. But there's yeah, the deck needs a good bit of work on it, but it'll get there. <laughs> How long will it take you guys to cross? Oh, crazy, <laughs> Becca. These guys are doing a thing called the Jester Challenge, and they're sailing. It's got to be under thirty foot boats, and they're sailing across the Atlantic on Sunday. Are you set off to be completely off grid? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How much water do you carry for each of you? This is where we find out we've got completely different yeah. plans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got 180 litres, yeah. but I've got a, a backup plan to catch it off the sail. Yeah. So I've got 100 litres in my tank and, a, and another 30 litres in bottle. Think it fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't scare me. Have you guys though. done this before? <gasps> no. <laughs> I've done the Azores, but not, um, not the Atlantic. Not, not the Atlantic. I, I did try to do the Atlantic four years ago, but it came with a sticky hand. Yeah. Oh, what, what happened? I got knocked down and broke my hand in the Atlantic. Oh, Jesus. No. Um, and sailed single handed literally Whoa. back, in, back into the Azores. Heroic. And then, then from the Azores like flew, home, style. Flew, flew home for surgery. Wow. Jeez. What a story. That's crazy. So I was a bit unlucky, really. Well, you made yeah. it back in one piece. Yeah, I, I got back into my own steam. That's yeah. fine. That's, very That's impressive. all right. Wow. That's that's incredible. Yeah, well, best of luck. Well, I was Thank lucky. You. I was lucky. I was triple re reefed at the time, so I didn't have to do any sail hand. Really. Yeah. What I actually did in the end was to was to circle in the ocean until midday, and then go into and then wave a bandaged hand at people, and they took pity on me, took my ropes. 
But I, I had a couple of anchors laid out on deck and I could have just dumped an anchor and asked for What them. story? That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> well, that's what you do, isn't it? You sort yeah. yourself out. You have to. That's yeah, one of the do. nice things about sailing. Which yeah. is... When are you guys sailing off on Sunday? Uh, midday, midday at the breakwater. Right. So I'll probably, I'll probably leave here about 10 ish, I don't know. Yeah, well, if we're here, we'll yeah. give yeah, we'll you a wave. wave. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you have fun too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, to that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice nice so that was the coolest thing. They're doing a challenge called the Jester Challenge. Um, which I'd never heard of, neither had Zach. Um, so it was super interesting to hear what they're doing. It was really lovely them popping by and chatting to us and it's turning into be one of my favourite bits of sailing is just bumping into people with really interesting stories and all walks of life. For some reason on this port hatch, there's a combination of Flathead and oh. Phillips <laughs> and they're all like, completely randomly and dispersed in between this so I, I have no idea I think he probably just whatever was in their toolbox at the time <laughs> they just used which is kind of funny what's the plan Stan I'm just getting a knife and just taking this out taking what out the old sealer does it look like it would have leaks yeah that far end it's all cracked and some of it looks absolutely fine the lazy person would just go around the whole thing and seal it but you're not I, lazy I want to do the right job you're Zach oh sh what was that? The bit around the boat there. That's obviously quite weak. Wait, well. a bit of the boat came off? No, not a bit of the boat, but like, this is like Crestmas stuff. I don't know, I think it's something like that. Well, at least, ow. Sorry. Well, at least we know where the water is coming in. Yeah. Yeah, small victories. Oh. Can you get me a plaster, please? Can you get me some of the cut-proof gloves? Is this overkill? <laughs> Thank you. You're the best. Oh, she's going. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of nervous about what's underneath. It's fine. I think it's all going to be rotten. Wow, look at that. Okay, you can really see, yeah, look at the gap. The wet is. And the wet bit is. Look, there's holes. No wonder water is getting in there. Uh, Zach. Yeah? We now have a hole in the boat. Yeah, big old hole. <laughs> It going look at that so the corking underneath all of this is actually really really good because i was thinking about having to redo all the corking i'm actually going to leave it but it's interesting the one really bad bit was there around the whole thing there's a seal and here this is not well done at all, is it? but it's just fallen off look at that yeah well like that bit came off my yeah. hand when i was doing it i keep thinking zach yeah that all these issues that keep coming up are so much better that they happen here where we've yeah. got all the tools and electric and stuff yeah rather than just at sea <laughs> yeah this would have been a disaster well i wouldn't have done it at sea no you would just patch it up as best you could you can see you can see how it's all layered up now throughout the boat which is really nice so you've got the teak here obviously and then you've got the that's got a good amount of teak yeah on this bit it is because obviously it's it doesn't yeah. walk on at all does it so that's the original amount of teak that we would have had so you've got the corking teak i'm not too sure what that whiteboard is mm. and then you've got this kind well, of well that's in that fiberglass Sorry? Is no, that, that's not the fiberglass. The fiberglass is here, so that's oh, the fiberglass really? there, yeah. So that layer there is fiberglass. Oh, and then wood, more wood. I guess this is what differentiates our boat from others in the fact that our teak deck isn't, like it's, there's a lot of layers between the teak deck and inside, which yeah. is really nice. Well done, Zach. Yeah, so let's get a bin bag out and we'll seal this all up. Yoink. Just keep that middle bit. We've got to get one point down, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much 50-50, nervous yeah. and excited. Yeah. Oh, that's expected. So, yeah. I imagine as soon as you get into it, once you're a day or two into it, you'll just get into the swing of it. Uh, to yeah. be honest, I'm happier sailing than I am tied up in the marina. Yeah, I imagine. Sure. Any uh, books of you that you're looking forward to reading or anything? Yeah, I've got I've got loads of books. Yeah. And I've actually got a self-improvement book. Oh, nice. Wow. So we'll see if that has any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a change man by yeah. the other side. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> actually, do you know what? Hmm. 
for me, the most exciting thing is how I'll come back feeling about things. Yeah, yeah. that's you know? what we're most looking forward to lot, when we lot, do crossing. A lot of time to think about the world exactly. and yourself. Exactly. And yeah. 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 Well, we've got a big adventure ahead of you. Well, Good morning adventure. Well, yeah. best of luck with everything. Bye! <laughs> Good luck! Should we do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I'm gonna finally put this whole section back up that was leaking. The hatch had been all sealed back down, sanded back, seeker flex down, um, screws been put back in with seeker flex on to stop it leaking through the screw holes. So that all should be good. And I've also just, fixed up this little section here which the plaster came off of. It didn't really seem like it's oh I've just got more secret in my hand. Great. Um yeah so it wasn't really doing much um at all. I think it was more just a liner for the window. But I have just seeker flex over that whole bit just to keep it all sealed up and nice. You won't see any of that anyway so it's not like it's gonna ruin the aesthetics of the boat or anything like that. So I'm just gonna screw all of this panel back up now which has been hanging like that for about a week. It'd be nice to finally get our kitchen back. I just want to say here that obviously we were heading for the boat. <laughs> I was leaning, <laughs> you know, like when you're a kid and you're playing video games and you're like turning the controller. <laughs> it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> really made me laugh watching this back. Um, but yeah, we were heading straight for the boat and obviously I was giving it some to guarantee steerage. Um, the more I was adding to it, the more the prop walk was pulling us to port. So um, lesson learned, they need to feather it more. So yeah, next time feathering, not. <laughs> It. it will. Trust it. You trusting it? Yeah, okay, you're killing it. You got it. Despite aching from the hike and having more boat jobs than we know what to do with, we couldn't resist a little trip upriver. The thing about being away from civilization is it's pretty addictive. And if being out in the hills taught us anything, it was that we love nothing more than being away from it all. I really appreciated you saying, trust it, trust it. And you were going straight for a boat. And I was fully locked and I was like, come on, please. <laughs> plan is we're gonna go and do a swing around this big old sloop up here, go back around, anchor down. Nice one. Oh, it's a bit of a current there. <laughs> Now we are going to head back because we want to make it back for when the tide is perfect for us. So, yeah, should we go? Let's do it. Zach's got his gloves on. Let's go.
back in, in one piece. Best feeling ever. <laughs> <laughs>